Hey everyone, my name is Jeffer and I believe that you can draw. Today we're going to create another character that's going to populate this world of Ophir. We've already created a ton of characters from pirates and dragons and monkeys and adventurers. Today we're going to look at someone called Bormin, who is the master gardener. He is just a man, but many people think he has actually got magical powers. For wherever he goes, life seems to spring up around him. Let's start drawing. I've got my page of spots right here. You can download this as a template. The link is in the description below. But as always, it's not about the tools. The creativity comes from you. You don't need Procreate to, um, to draw along with me. You can download this and print it out and use a pen or a pencil, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to create a new blank layer. And then let's scroll around and find a spot. I like the look of this one. When I draw a character, I always start with the eyes. So let's give him two eyes. Am I using my pencil? I am. Let's give him two eyes and quite a strong nose. He's a calm and gentle character and definitely has a hat of some kind, but I haven't decided what yet. Perhaps it kind of comes forwards. We'll come back to the hat in just a mo. He needs a body. Perhaps actually he's uh, looking this way, tending to some plants. Maybe he's kneeling, which means we'll have to move his eyes in just a mo. But his, but his hands will come down there. And uh, one hand on the ground to steady himself. And then maybe there's a little tool next to him. Of course, here's our little sprout, which I'm going to move with the selection tool just stick it there. And now let's move his eyes, if he is indeed looking in that. Oh, we're going to need to move the nose as well. That just doesn't look right. I think that is better. I might change the shape of the head. And I think I'm also going to just grab the mouth and grab this little green thing to twist it around just there. Then his hat can come over here. Lovely. Let's let's just reshape that leg. So it's actually sitting under him. And I think he always has this, um, perhaps this um, piece of cloth that he's tied around himself as a belt. Does he, would he have a bag of tools? I think he would have a bag of tools, which he'd definitely have put down. leave that there like so there we go okay next step add a new layer take the opacity of our pencil down and go back to our new layer grab a pen and the color black um, in procreate if you ever want to make sure that you have an exact an exact black whether it's the purest black or purest right white or the purest color you can double tap on that area of the of the color picker circle and it will snap to 
the purest version of that. So I can double tap on the white and I've got perfect white. Double tap on black, perfect black. Yeah, I think there's six different spots around here that you can double tap on. And then one in the middle as well. Um, black, there we go. Increase the size a little bit. There's his nose and ear. A single curly lock and two more over there. And that little smile. Let's get that drawn along with the rest of his body. Here's his arm. Oops, the fingers would go that way, the thumb would go that way. And there's his foot as well. Add in some extra little details. And, oh, we mustn't forget this little plant. We will paint the plant in. We will paint the plant in. As for the tools, there's the handle. There we go. And bag. Let's do the bag on a separate layer. Two buttons and a single strap that comes down like so and then let's just raise these bits and now we get to color everything in and bring this to life get the crayon pop the color palette off and I'm going to choose some earthy colors I think I like to think of um, this side of the green uh, here we've got green in the middle this side of the green is where green feels quite earthy and natural this side feels quite vivid and chemical so I'm going to pick some of the earthy green tones maybe push it more into the yellow and we'll use this to paint Bormin for he is soft in character and in nature incredibly knowledgeable adores the um, plants that he gets to um, grow and bring to life he travels around from um, travels all across Ophir tending to gardens park areas to make sure that um, everything is healthy but yeah there are some tales tall tales tales nonetheless myths and legends that plants spring up at the at his feet wherever he walks the plant life can't help but thrive around him but he insists he is not a magician. Do we believe him? I don't know. Uh, oops, I've gone over the outside the lines, but I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Perhaps there is just a soft red that actually is on this band. It's just to signify that he is a merchant. Most merchants in a fear, of course, have um, 
wear either the merchant's cloak to show that they have permission to be in the market, but he's a traveling merchant selling his gardening services. Um, so he doesn't want to wear the cloak. Presumably. Excellent, let's do this bag, which is again an earthy colour. Made from fibres of a particular plant that grows tall, like a tree, but isn't actually a tree. The wood, the, the um, bark is thick and strong but not um, the trunk is, is thick and strong but not it's not wood perhaps a bit more like a um, bamboo it breaks up into fibers that can be woven that's what I suspect this bag is made out of what is in it Maybe that would give away too many of his secrets. Okay, let's do this little... I think sometimes the tip of the upper pencil unscrews itself, but maybe that's just because I fiddled with it, I'm not sure. I've gone drastically out the lines here, I'm not worried about that. Let's give this a wooden handle. That will do nicely. Lovely. And now we just need the plant that he's bringing to life. The little sprout that he's been tending to, perhaps planted. Two little leaves. But, uh, maybe a little bit of. Yeah. Time to name our character. So I'm getting in the writing pen. nice and chunky. Master Gardener. Oops. Move that into the middle. He is a grower. He's soft, and he is wise. Put those into the middle. And let's group all those layers. Oops. There is Borman. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you really enjoyed this one. Please do show me what you've drawn. I'd love to see you can send it to me on Instagram or on email. 
I love seeing all your likes and your comments and uh, I try to read all of them and respond to them all as well. Have a fantastic day. I can't wait to see you again. I believe that you can draw.